we've made such great progress on the opportunities available to the coal industry that we feel uh, a lot of hope for the future. Um, like I said, we really doubled down on our research on CO2 over the past couple of years. Um, the state of North Dakota appropriated five, an additional $5 million um, to study this alum cycle technology that I referenced earlier. Everything we've learned since that um, over the last two years has been positive. Um, we think this technology is going to be the answer and we think that it's going to be the answer relatively soon. This is the type of plant that we think you could start thinking about construction as early as 2018 and start planning for that day in North Dakota that you're going to start putting fuel in the ground. Um, the EERC in Grand Forks is doing most of the research on this right now um, and it's very promising. And the next step in that is to await results of a project in Texas which is building a smaller, demo, a smaller pilot of this technology. And they're going to run that all through 2017 and then at the end of 2017 we'll sit down and say what did we learn from that? Is it viable at a large enough scale to be useful in North Dakota? And if it is, then you start that process in 2018 of saying, how do we scale it up in North Dakota? And I think that's really where we see um, the ability of the business community and legislators and the federal government to come together and say, how, what do we need to do in North Dakota to make that happen? Um, because you start thinking of a billion dollar infrastructure project being built most likely uh, you know, within this 50, 60 mile radius, most likely in the, the coal counties and say, what does that mean to Bismarck? Um, right now, many of the mines and plants have about half of their employees living in Bismarck. So if you have 400 people at a mine or 400 people in the power industry, um, half of those folks are living here and the average wage is $90,000. So you think, let's bring another 100 people into town um, and what does that do to the economy? And what do we need to make it happen? Um, we need to revisit the relationship between the coal industry and the state of North Dakota. 